Hello everyone, Relgan here with another CVT game. I already made some videos about the 16 marine drop. This time we're having a look at a little bit more special strategy the 2 base corruptor counterplay to the 16 marine drop. Right off the bat you might notice that I'm going for a standard or for a um, a little bit abnormal pool hatch gas into roach one that you see from me pretty much every game but almost no other Zerg does. Going for the three early roaches while well, he is going for this little reaper harassment right here. I'm skipping a bit through the early stages of this game because they're not that important. The lynx manage to do a little bit of damage but it's never, it's like the standard amount of damage, nothing too fancy. Just killing off one or two SCVs. The three roaches are on their way as well, looking to do some damage, if possible. But this is all not too important, this is all just very very minor plays. At home I'm getting a lair, I'm getting a second gas, just droning like a madman. I also got my third queen out to spread some creep. Not taking a third base just yet, just droning a little bit. I keep Kept him a little bit longer in his main base until he has his 6 to 7 marines out. Looking at the units killed right now, I killed 2 workers and 1 marine and lost 2 links. That's not... nothing special, it's what happens usually in this type of game. He's not building a bunker, trying to save money yet again, as we already saw in some other CVT games against this type of play. I'm going for a spire follow-up follow as soon as my lair finishes. I'm getting my roach speed pretty quickly, I think. Building 6 more roaches, putting me at 9 roaches to deal with his 16 marines as they walk across the map around the 5 minute 30 second mark. This little overseer scouted his base very quickly to just confirm my suspicion. My roaches are here, just in position. Which speed is started, trying to some damage to him. He sadly catches those roaches but that just happens. I'm getting three corruptors right now to deal with the liberators and six and the marines of course. And well roaches are pretty good units. I had to keep some roaches here while having some roaches at the front so he cannot just drop me into my base. I also started my third, did not drone it yet. If you look at my base we also see no evolution chambers at all. He is building his third base at the front, a lot of Terrans do that. And well, he is struggling very very much against these roaches that are floating across the map. The Corruptors take care of his Medivex. And without, them, without the Medivex, the Terran can't really sustain the roach DPS. His roaches do quite a bit of damage. As he is slowly falling apart. That's a nice video mine hit, taking out two corruptors of mine. And right now I'm starting to drone at home again because I've because the turn is pretty much on one base and there's not too much for me to do. Take thanking that video mine shot this one roach. I'm not really interested in breaking through into his main right now. Because I'm way up anyways. Building my hydralisk then two evolution chambers. Where are they? There they are. You need scale if you're a Zerg is what the Terran writes to this. Well, this game is pretty much over so I'm just going through it right now. I'm just harassing him a little bit with a small amount of roaches right now while I'm preparing for my max to completely finish him off. Sending the roaches in, doing whatever damage they can. He cannot land this base right now. I'm up 100 supply. And this is Chichi. Now I want to quickly go back to that, to the center part where the scary 16 marine drop or push happens. Right around this time. If you look at my setup, I have this one spore crawler here because I expected him to follow it up with a liberator or the medivex flying there. I have 9 roaches at the moment, I'm not sure where all of them are. 3 are down here, 6 are here. I have to make sure that I have some roaches over here so he cannot drop me. These roaches overextend a little bit but they manage to take out a few of his marines. Sadly I miss microed a little bit right there so I lost these roaches. My corruptors are out though. 
my three corruptors and they will help me greatly with his medivacs and liberators. And just have to quickly wait for the rest of my roaches. He's overextending quite a bit right now. Can't really tell the roach numbers, I think, because of the overlords. His liberator dies, and with it, all the hopes of this Terran player. Now, the 16 marine drop always delays their third base. He might have delayed it a little bit too long, but I don't think it could have finished in time anyways. My third is already finished, as I already mentioned, and that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys like this little display of how I deal with this 16 marine drop when I go for the 3 roach opener. It's very easy to scout, it's 2 barracks, 1 reactor, 1 tech lab, a starport and a factory and always a late third command center. No tanks usually, delayed ebays as well. That's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!